What's good? It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. We're back with the Boxing Clinic. And um, let's jump right on into it. Um, you know, Tyson Fury um, dubs Deontay Wilder to knock out glass jaw Anthony Joshua. I link both of these articles to the description. Um, he also likes, he also says that Joseph Parker can be glass jaw, glass jaw Anthony Joshua. And um, when most people in the UK over in that area believes that Anthony Joshua would just dog walk Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury is, believes different, you know. Says, you know, Wilder has improved a great deal, which is actually true. Says he has power, he's awkward, and he become a good boxer puncher. And those are all good and, and honest. Those are true. Um, you know, and when you got Carl Fries, Tony Bell, you, you know, every other UK fighter back Anthony Joshua because that's the guy. And I understand they feel that Joshua is the thing, big thing over in the UK. And, you know, even myself would favor Anthony Joshua slightly right now. Um, he's a... You know, and Joshua was a good fighter, but I'm starting to believe Deontay Wilder matchup is becoming closer to closer in Deontay Wilder's favor or 50-50 um, for the simple fact that Deontay Wilder has improved. He's the faster fighter. He's the quicker fighter. Um, you know, he's the more aggressive fighter as well, too. And, um, you know, he's hot right now. You know, hot. He's improving. Um, Anthony Joshua's at a different point in his career. He got significantly Excuse me, less fights than Deontay Wilder, you know. And I expect him to break through that plateau pretty soon and everybody else to be saying, oh, look at him, he improved as well. You know, he just got to bust through that plateau that he had now. And possibly losing some weight and gaining some more explosion of speed might be the key. Um, but that's all on him. He needs to figure it out physically, mentally, and skill-wise what he needs to do to bust through this plateau. And I'm speaking on Anthony Joshua, you know. Maybe, like I said, maybe drop some of that muscle weight. Maybe incorporate a body attack. Um, you know, maybe open up a little bit. Get a little bit more looser. You know, he's tight. He's tight. He's wound it tight. His guard is tight. I mean, it's like he's protecting the chin. You know what I'm saying? And um, you understand that, you know, he. they said he's been knocked out a few times in sparring. And I see him knocked out in the amateurs. And everybody show you the video of Deontay Wilder getting knocked out. But at the end of the day, it's the heavyweight division. Lance Lewis got knocked out. You know what I'm saying? It happens, you know, it does happen, and, um, you know, it wouldn't be no shame in the game, and either one got knocked out, you know, because it's heavyweight division, one punch can change it, and, um, as far as, uh, you know, Fury bagging Parker, um, like I said, Parker got ability, man, I've been telling that these guys this for a long time, he got ability, but it's something that this dude is missing, he's only, what, 228 pounds, 225 pounds, and maybe it's the size difference, because when I watched this guy train, he got he seemed like he got okay speed, power, he got okay skill, but he doesn't do anything great. You know, I have to feel he lost to Huey Fury. But he just seems to be too small physically for the top heavyweights. You know, that's what it is, man. And he's small and he don't have like a lot of speed to make up for being small, you know what I'm saying? He don't have a lot of skill to make up for being, you know, you know, twenty five years old and being who he is. You know, he do have some skill. You know, you would be crazy not to say it. But at the end of the day, him being Anthony Joshua, I don't see it happening. I don't see him putting it all together for Anthony Joshua. He couldn't put it all together for Fury, Fury uh, Andy Ruiz, I mean, Carlos Takam. I mean, he couldn't put it all together for those guys. The Ronnie guy he fought. I mean, it ain't going to happen, you know. There's something that he's missing in his game, which is physically and skill-wise and maybe some mental that that's keeping them from being a real, real elite champion, you know, a top champion in this division. It's not gonna happen. Um, if he beats Anthony Joshua, that'll be an epic upset of proportion. If Deontay Wilder beat Anthony Joshua, it's reasonable now. You know, he got double, almost double the fights of, of Joshua. I mean, he's equal size. He can punch. Um, Parker, it'd be a massive upset, and I wouldn't even believe it until I seen it with my own eyes. 